Welcome back to the channel, guys. I want to thank you for joining me. I want to thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. All that you do is greatly appreciated. It never goes unnoticed. Um, I want to say all praises due to the Most High. And I say the ancestors of light, known, and unknown. I want to call on the Archangel, specifically Archangel Michael, next day, protect me from any outside or negative influence seeking to impact me or my collective. With that being said, um, I want to talk to you guys about alchemy. I want to talk to you guys about spiritual protection and why you may feel as though you're still being attacked. The importance of spiritual protection. There's a lot of us, especially if you're tuning into this video, who have been getting spiritually attacked for probably a very long time, probably longer than you even have been aware of. And a lot of us are always asking, like, you know, we want to know when is, when is this going to stop? Some of us are even waiting for these people to die or go to jail. And what we need to understand is, um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm waiting for the Most High to make a table for me in the presence of my enemies. He's already done it. He's doing it. And he's going to do it. And he's going to continue to do it. So, you know, we ain't got to wish for these enemies to die. We don't have to wish for these enemies to go to jail. We don't have to wish anything. We just have to be us. We don't even want to project that type of negative energy out. I, um, I, I, I listen to some other channels out there and they speak of basically the reason why this person is still able to do what they're doing is because the collective still has a soft spot for them and this, this, that, and the third. Well, I think different than them. I think that you never allow anyone to change you. Continue to be love. Continue to walk in love. Continue to give love. That's a high vibrational thing. Be, that very reason is why God has always been protecting you and why God will continue to protect you. The fact that you give love, the fact that no matter what this karmic has done to you, no matter what these people have done to you, you still love them. You still give love. Now, don't, don't feel weak for that. Feel powerful. Because how many people you know can be done wrong, backstabbed by multiple people for no reason, two, 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 and still love these people, still try to make amends with these people, still wish good for these people, still drop a prayer to the most high for these people. How many people you know? You're special. This is what you need to understand. You're a different breed. You're not You're not like others. Don't let nobody talk you into hating nobody or send a negative energy into nobody. We have to learn to cultivate a life where people need to understand that we get too wrapped up in the black magic. Oh, black magic, they're going, they're taking our hair, they're doing this, they're doing that. What I'm hearing is there's always going to be somebody doing black magic on you, collective, because you're so divine. So there's always going to be someone that hates you. There's always going to be someone that wants to see you fall. There's always going to be someone that dislikes you, who preys on your downfall. These are all... This is all black magic. It's been happening all your life. This is why you're being led to cultivate a certain lifestyle so that these things don't bring you down to your knees like they used to. They don't affect you like they used to. You cultivating a high frequency lifestyle. What does that mean? What, is, what, what does that do for the collective? You cultivating a high frequency lifestyle. It means that those things that used to, the shots that people used to take at you, and they used to hit you, they'll miss every time. Or even if it does hit you, it'll just fall. It'll never, pen it'll never penetrate. When you're waking up, you're meditating, you're deep breathing, you're exercising. Even if you're just stretching, you're getting the body going, you're, you're brushing your teeth, you're, you're getting your skin ready. Then you're going off to the gym for some of you. For some of you, if you could just take a walk, even if you have to go to work, trying to walk to get there, they walk to get on the train or walk, you know, just doing more walking than you usually do. Stretching when you can. Watching those dark thoughts that try to creep up. This is a big thing that I had to learn that you guys need to learn. You control your thoughts. They do not control you. 444 four, four. and as long as you continue to think that thoughts are just things that pop up in your head and you have no control over them you will continue to be a victim of your reality 
It's about 2024 is about I see the power that I have. Now, how do I utilize this power? If God brought me to it, he'll bring me through it. This is just an experience that you're having. Play with it. You know what I mean? If I give you the tip, for every negative thought, think 10 positive ones. Act on it. Use it. Do it. If I tell you to visualize success, visualize success. Utilize it. What I realized that for most of us, we could literally be out of these predicaments that we're in if we only had the discipline or the willpower. If we can consistently get into the right ritual for 21 days, that's all we need to change our lives. But because the enemy knows this 555 and he's always around you, he's always seeking ways that he can distract you from going a distance. We're moving into a space where you're doing it anyway. Even if you don't feel like it, you got to do it anyway, because that's what it's about. You feel that when you don't feel like doing something, that's a low vibration. Well, when you don't feel like doing something positive, unless your intuition is telling you not to do something, like go to a party or something. I'm talking about positive things. Like instead of getting that fast food, going in the house and putting something together to eat. Instead of. You know, sitting in the bed today, it's your day off going to the gym. We're, 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 we're just doing it. We're just doing it because it's, it's you in the low vibration that is telling you that you don't want to go, that you can't do it, you don't have the energy. But what you, you know what a lot of people notice that when they don't want to go to the gym, but they do it anyway, when they leave, they feel so empowered. They feel so blissful. They feel so strong because their vibration went up and and you will notice that whatever quarrels you had or worries that was on your mind it's not even on your mind you're just making my way downtown walking fast you're just in the vibe you're in the mood you're feeling it until what until you run into another demonic energy or obstacles which we have to start looking at as mere test of it's like the test here it is. God puts it in front of you. Let's just say the test is you go in the Wendy's and there's somebody trying to cut you and they're getting smart and they're doing this. Da, 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 da. And we know you, sis, bro. You all, for, you all for the Lord, but you also ain't with the disrespect. So you could get in your vibe like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you got to move. You got to step off and be ready to war about that spot. Or you can see this for what it is. And, and just step away from it slowly. Slowly back away from the car is what I'm hearing. But it's not really a car. It's just the, the energy, the negative person. Slowly back away from the person. Just throw your hands out like this. Almost as to release any hostility, but also reject it. And you tell yourself, I do not allow this conflict into my space today. I will not allow it. You have to take back your power, Collective. We're not allowing negativity. We're not allowing things to bring us down. This morning, I had a little, you know, a few words with my partner. I was, I was getting ready to go to gym. We had the words. I noticed my vibration went down. But I was aware of that. I was aware that the argument caused my vibration to go down. So what did I have to do? I had to cultivate the energy. I had to motivate myself. I had to encourage myself within the Lord. And then when I went to the gym, best thing I could have ever done. Left out of the gym looking, feeling like a million bucks. So collective, how do you raise your vibration? By doing things that are good for you. Putting things in your body that are good for you. Doing things that are good for you. We know what's good for us. We know what's not because when we do it, we feel good. When it's not good for us, it does not feel good. So I don't care. With alcohol, it lowers your vibration. It poisons you. We all may take a shot from time to time. Let's be honest. We may drink some wine from time to time. Right? Everything is moderation. Everything is moderation. But with alcohol, it may make you feel good for the moment. It's nasty when it goes down your throat. It's You're literally poisoning yourself. And you literally, most people end up with a hangover. Does that feel good? 
It doesn't, right? It doesn't feel good. But if we drink this water, you can't tell me you don't feel better when you drink the water. You feel hydrated, Tim Tim. You, the electrolytes, you feel good. Life is about choices. Make the better choice. And that will keep your vibration high. Make the better choice. I want to thank you guys for joining me, for liking, sharing, subscribing. All that you do is greatly appreciated and never goes unnoticed. I want to say namaste. I want to, I'm going to come back and do a, what lowers the vibration. There are certain fruits you can eat that connect with certain chakras, certain things. All I want to say is health is wealth. I would not recommend putting dead animals into the body. They're going to vibrate at the rate of death. And you may attract death to you. So I just want to thank you guys for being here. Like, share, and subscribing. It's always real. I love you guys. Peace. Namaste.